I would like to give a shout out to J Dub on Twitter for sending me the story. And I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot all about the story until I read the headline. And I said, Are you serious? But then again, when you think of the subject matter and who we're talking about here, it shouldn't shock anyone, but it is disturbing to say the least. But before I get into this update, let me give you a bit of a backstory. This woman's name is Skylar Richardson. And back, I think in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, this was at the time she was still in high school and she was a cheerleader and she gave birth to a child. And then she took the child and buried the child while the child was still alive in her parents' backyard. She claims that the child was a stillborn. But even so, if the child was a stillborn, you should have had some kind of medical uh, people to determine that that's what the case was. But you buried the child in the backyard. But many people claim that that this chick is lying and that child was not a stillborn and that this child was, you know, a healthy child that she just buried. Well, they ended up bringing up charges for murder on her. But the judge ended up lowering the charges and she only got sentenced to three years probation or they call it community control, which is basically probation. Well, the update just came out today on November 19th. Well, actually, November 18th, 2020, that that same judge who gave her that lesser charge just knocked two years off of her probation, which means she only had to do one year. So now at this point, she's off probation. She's back into society. We need to find out who that judge is because that's the one who messed the whole thing up. Like you let a child killer get off scot free, not once, but twice for the same for the for that one crime. And the thing is, they won't even let you call it a crime because she only got probation. She killed. She buried her child after she gave birth in her parents backyard. Don't sit and tell me that PC privilege is not real. She probably all she had to do was produce fake tears, bat her little eyes, and the judge took pity on her. Uh, Let's get into it. Brooke Schuyler Richardson, the ex cheerleader from Ohio convicted of abusing the corpse of her stillborn baby daughter, has been released from probation nearly two years early. Richardson was convicted in September 2019 and released Wednesday after serving just 14 months of her three years community control, a form of probation. I am sorry for everything that I have put everyone through, Richardson said in a statement. I just want to show that I can be a normal person again. Before I go any further, let me retract something that I said. I thought that this thing happened back in 2017. I was like, wait a minute, I had to think about it for a second. It couldn't have been that far back, but it happened last year. Last year. Is when this happened. And she says she wants to show she could be a normal person. Again, normal person. What normal person gives birth to their child and then buries the child in the backyard? And I forgot what reasoning she gave as to why she did it. It was something stupid. And that's pretty much all this um, article that I pulled up has about it. But you know what? Let me go find another article. Okay, I found one on uh on a New York Post. The one on Yahoo didn't give me much. This is the former Ohio cheerleader acquitted of murdering her newborn baby has been released from probation nearly two months early, saying she wants to be a normal person again. Brooke Schuyler Richardson was sentenced to three years probation for burying the baby girl's corpse in her parents' Carlisle backyard in May 2017. So apparently I was right with the dates. I keep getting these dates mixed up. There's so many dates. She was released on Tuesday after serving 14 months, 14 months. That's not that's only a year and two months of probation, just probation. She this chick never saw the inside of a jail cell. Tracy Johnson, the grandmother of Richardson's child, fought against her early release. You had the option of giving her up to six months in prison with time served. I don't think three years probation is too much to ask, Johnson told Warren County Judge Donald Oda II. So that's the judge. Donald Oda II. Donald Oda II, 
You, sir, are the weakest link. Richardson, meanwhile, again apologized in a teary-eyed statement in court, and I bet you they were the fakest tears she could produce, besides the one she produced three years ago. I am sorry for everything that I put everyone through. I know that doesn't seem like a lot at all, she said, according to the publication. I am very sorry, and I heard a lot. I just want to show that I can be a normal person again. That's all. The judge said the purpose of probation was not punishment. Clearly, she didn't face any type of punishment. There is no reason for me to invest the time and resources of my probation department in supervising you, Older Till Richardson. It's an opportunity to demonstrate why the state, the stated prison term of 12 months in prison should not be imposed. Oh, this judge right here is laying it on thick on why she should not have gotten jail time, even though she... Like I said before... Do not tell me who and who does not have privilege in this establishment. This right here is a is a case study, a huge case study right here. Young, white, blonde girl. Has child out of wedlock. And then she buries the child in her parents backyard and she gets to go home after doing that. Richardson was 18 years old when she hid her pregnancy from her family and friends, giving birth to a full term baby girl she named Annabelle in 2017. So full term. That is not a stillborn. She that means she was pregnant for nine months. But my thing is, how was she able to hide that from her family and friends? Like, where did she go? Like, you know, her stomach had that shown. She claimed the baby was stillborn, but was charged with killing the child and burying it in her parents' backyard. A jury acquitted Richardson of murder, but convicted her of abuse of a corpse. Oda sentenced her to seven days in county jail, but she was credited with time served and given three years probation. That judge, they need to find a way to get that judge removed. He gave this chick the lightest sentence. And I need to know, did any black people come through his courtroom and how did he deal with them in their cases and like I said, it's black people in jail right now who have done way less to others or even to themselves. And they get murder charges, but this chick don't even get charged with murder, but abuse of a corpse. And she still gets probation and then doesn't even have to serve out her entire probation. She's back out into the world. All I'm going to say is this. Any guy that comes across her, don't mess with her. This woman is like poison ivy. Do not mess with this chick get a good look i know she got a mask on but there's other pictures of her get a good look at her do not mess with a person named brooks skyler richardson i'm still trying to figure out how she was able to hide her pregnancy they said she gave birth to a full-term child which means this child she was in her belly for at least nine months because that's the preg that's the the technical pregnancy term period so how she was able to hide that, I don't know. But yeah, huh, another day in PC America. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next one.